So fam, I hope you are all good and well. Welcome to another chapter of Mafia Definitive Edition. We are continuing on the 13th and 14th chapter of the game. So in case that you missed any of the previous episodes, you can still catch up by checking out the playlist in the description down below. Thank you guys for all the support. I hope to see you more in the comment section. I love you. Let's go. Intermezzo. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. He wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Bon appetit. ...of his face and pasted it on his face. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. We're going on a trip. Making Salieri it. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Well, how's business? <laughs> hey, you know how it is. It's good. Hey. Sure, I know the business. Oh, I these cars. Every day. But since sporky. What happened, happened. I know that a capo Damn. needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. Need to go to Pepe or restaurant. Pepe is restaurant. I mean, won't happen again. I Come guess on, we're mixing bro. with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. What kind of slice, though? What are we up to, Mr. Salieri? Hey, this car is pretty fast. And it has good handling. And good acceleration too. I guess this is kind of a sports car. Oh, shish. 
Why oh, Jesus, can no. I not even get some lunch without the bulls hearing about it? Can I outrun this cop here? The cop car is pretty fast. Oh, it's closing in. Damn. Oh shit. Debated. Oh shit. The guy's gotten away. Jesus, can a guy not even get some lunch without the bulls hearing about it? Mr. Salieri is getting angry already. Boom. Let me outrun you, brother. Come on. Oh. Must be nice for you. Oh, yeah. Away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Yeah, that's better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam. Oh, oh my God. So once again, come on, brother. Oh my yeah. I was about to. I hate this handling bro. I thought I liked it at first, but come on. It's pretty awful, bro. Come on. <laughs> Says the one who effed it up. And blame it on the car. Oh, it's still follow through. Hey, bro. Hey, got stuck. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Oh shish. They are in that area. Can we wait on them? Oh let's go back. Let's just go back. Now let's go. Oh, we need to enter this alley here. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tommy? Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey. More wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't Salieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you. No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? In the for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> this get down there's a similar scene like this 
on that color. What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Yeah, I had three in mind. That was a similar scene in the Godfather movie. So the first one was where Michael Corleone was talking with a politician and an opposing gang family, I guess, the leader of that one, where he popped both of them while eating something in an Italian restaurant. The next one is when the opposing family mob also tried to assassinate the godfather, Mr. Corleone, when he was buying some fruits on the street, I guess. And the last one was the assassination of son, uh, son of Don Corleone. He was at the tool booth, if I remember, and they were blazing guns on him. They were raining bullets over him on a, on his car. Where's that guy? How oh, dare you. So yeah, those were it. Angelo's coming through the alleyway. They know my name. What the heck? I'm out of ammo. I'm almost dying here. Oh. Oh, shush. Oh, no. This is a pretty bad idea. Boom. One more. Boom. Don Salieri! Boss! It's clear! Let's move out. Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No. Not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Is really Carlos guilty? Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlos uh, still breathing is a minute that's got me maybe. pissed. Sure, boss. I can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. His car was a sports car Carlo, didn't at that time. His I guess. was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? So oh, there he is angry. And my foot through his face. Oops. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. 
I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in, you give him a place in your family, you give him respect, and this... This is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. We're almost here. At Carlos apartment. Where to? Boss. Just follow him. Okay. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom. My face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. Uh, uh, Oops. What the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. Uh, you okay, Bus? Oh, yeah. Just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, ah! he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! The way he, that he is running, I guess he's guilty. Come back here, Carlo! Yo, Carlos. Where are you running? Hey, we ain't finished with you! Bobby, please! I can explain! What do you need to say? Please! Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Oops. Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Morello, he was gonna kill mom! I had to do it! I had to! Oh, he really is it, guilty. <laughs> is he still alive? I'm not sure. Now we're sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hopley recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, I did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> So the Ari must have figured Carla was the rest. God damn it. Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just, uh... 
Keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Oh, that's it. Chapter complete. Happy birthday. We're at the start of something. Let's meet so with Salieri upstairs. Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. Oh, it's gonna it's be It's gonna be war. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. We are at war. Of course, they sent you a lot of assassination. I mean, they, they sent assassins to kill you while you were eating. That means war. Play Haven't until... seen any trouble just yet. Oh, it's upstairs. Where's the stairs? I haven't really explored this um I doubt here. I don't know where to start. Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson Carlos. <laughs> that was a pun. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. What's this? No one. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. All about people under our protection. Forget about them. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Yeah. Right guys in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morel's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Buona fortuna. So they're planting some guns on the... What do you call this? Bathroom? It's very similar to the one that happened in Godfather, where Michael got his gun in the bathroom also to cap those politicians and opposing family, I guess. So we're headed to the docks now. Is this the fastest car around here? Bolt. Let's go. Go to the docks. There aren't a lot of people around this road, I guess. 
Not a lot of them. I guess we're going against Morello now. After that incident in the restaurant. Hopefully the cook that speaking with Salieri survived. I don't know what happened to them but hey. I guess they're making good food. Hey, look at the sunset, bro. Jeez. Let's go. I like this place. I like this game. There's a sports car in here. This one. On the left. Let's so go. Oh, there's. Attention, folks! Attention! Party we'll get getting board, started. But we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. Find the Sam. Family in the city. Roberto Gelot, welcome you to a delightful birthday story aboard the Lost Heaven B. That's the name of the cruise. Got an invite too? Oh, did you hear this? Oh. Gonna be He's obsessed with it. What's this? Oh, it's look like a guy with an invite. I got friends, just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy, but his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Let's get those suit from the sailor. Whom it may concern. What's this? Secret card. Okay. The dock office. Where's that sailor? Is he in here? in the mess there let's return to sam here yeah, know you'd get a real job someday <laughs> so remember play it cool when you've gone some ways over the water find the gun the janitor stashed it in the bathroom sure then get up on the roof wait for galati's speech and pop him when he's done and how do i get away Polly's borrowed a speedboat after the speech there's fireworks will come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Yo, that's funny. Suits ya. <laughs> Look at the sunset, bro. Come on. Look nice. You got a party to go to. Now let's proceed. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? Sure as shit gonna kill Galati. But getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Yo, what? Think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. But getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him.
You almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Look at the sea. Look at the sunset though. Looks nice. I love it. I wish I could go to some beach right now. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Are you, brother? Oh, they act in suspicious right now. Ask the crew about the janitor, okay? Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. Where should I ask, bro? Oh, I remember there's a scene like this, or at least a level like this in the Hitman game, where there's the ship, I guess that was the, what do you call this, a tutorial mission? I don't know. What? You think you're something you're not? I'm just asking around, brother. What's this? Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Engine room. Can we get that collectibles over there? This one? Super science stories, okay. Now let's get straight ahead to that janitor there. It's downstairs. Is he in here? You took your time. See this one? He really is strong. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the jan in the stern. Mid deck. Where's third? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. Okay, sure. Thanks, bro. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> I don't think she did. He's drunk. Oh, let's go ahead. Is it in here? Wait. It's upstairs. Yep. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. But what are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. I'm gonna beat you first, brother. Oh, shish. Too bad for you. I was faster. Oh, let's get this. again come on brother tell me that ain't good now let's go to that vantage point someone's there oh it's the same sailor i guess Now let's go. Well, oh, that's the captain. I thought he was going to say something. Oh, 
Where are you now? Gonna need ya. John, hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party. Wait for the fireworks. So, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. What is the reason that all William has their nickname, Billy? I mean, most William that I know from Western countries, their nickname is Billy. Or Bill. I have no answer to that. Maybe some, some of you guys know? The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Now the fireworks. Can we get that ready already? Oh, that's it. Escape the speed out. Okay. Oh, shish. Oops. Oh, my, yeah. I didn't know. I was... I thought he was... Camping over there. So I went straight ahead. But anyways. Let's do it again. Come on, bro. That was... Dumb. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> it's so long to reload. Oh, that's it. I escaped the speedboat. There's someone in there. It's shooting. I can't go near him yet. Or I can. Oops. Someone's. See him. Oh, shush. Someone's near. One's dead. Oh, shish. I'm a murderer. Oops, I'm almost dead. He's shooting? No, let's go. Oh, shish. Oh, someone's flanking. Oh, hide, hide, bro. Let's recover some health for now. Got him. Oops. Oh my yeah. Hmm. Deserve that brother. Can I have my health already? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh, crap! 
Yo, is she innocent? I, uh, did I shoot some innocent guy? I have five bullets, actually eleven, but boom! Yeah, that was headshot, bro. There's the other one. Boom! That was headshot. Boom! Another one. Guess another one's here. Uh, not yet. Not quite. Is someone there? Oh, they're below. Oops. Right there. Boom. Together. Gotcha. Oh. Oh my! Come on, bro. <laughs> so hard to aim. This one okay, is a civilian. Oh, oh, shush. I'm taking a lot of damage here. That was headshot there. It's the other guy. Boom. Let's take their guns. Oh my gun, of course. Right there. Oops. He's down. This guy. Oh, finally, I dealt with you, bro. He's on to me. Finally. Let's run. Where are we supposed to go now? This uh, one here. One's dead. Now let's escape. Nice. Yo, that was it. It was quite the pain, but it's done. Nice. If you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like we need a proof.